Hello everyone. Welcome to Mathematics Colio. In this video, you will find a question from Rolle's theorem. Usually students have two doubts in it. First, how do we identify that it is question of Rolle's theorem? And second, if even if we know that it is question from Rolle's theorem, how do we identify the function in which Rolle's theorem is to be applied? So in this video, with the help of given question, I'll clear both of your doubt. Let's read the question first. Let f 0 to 1 be a continuous function be a continuous function prove that there exists c belongs to 0 to 1 such that 1 minus c fc equals to c 0 to c fx dx observe the question right and by observing we can conclude we have to prove that there exists a root of equation 1 minus x fx is equals to x times 0 to x ft dt. Okay. Right. Uh, I am changing the variable in place of x I am taking t. Okay. So, we have to prove that there exists a root of equation 1. If we want to prove root, it means it is either application of intermediate value theorem or Rolle's theorem. IVT you can apply, you will get that IVT is not working here. It means it is application of Rolle's theorem. In Rolle's theorem, if we are applying, suppose we are applying Rolle's theorem in function f, then we prove that root of f dash will exist. Here we have to prove that root of equation 1 exists. It means we have to apply Rolle's theorem in a function whose derivative contains equation number 1. So, now we will now we will learn how to find that function. See, first of all, observe that if this is fx, if this is capital fx, this is capital f dash x. Now, students may have doubts. What? First doubt, they can ask, how do we know that capital fx is differentiable function because we are using the term f dash x it means we know that capital fx is differentiable function then only we can write f dash so question how do we know capital fx is differentiable even in question small f is continuous only continuity is given to support that statement i wrote here uh, by using red pen fundamental theorem of calculus which says if f is a continuous function in closed interval a to b and capital fx is integral 0 to x fx dx x belongs to a to b then capital f is differentiable function and f dash x is small fx so by fundamental theorem of calculus we can write like this okay now divide both sides by capital fx divide both sides by capital fx we are getting f dash x upon fx and divide both sides by 1 minus x as well. Okay. Integrate both sides. Integrate both sides. Here again, students may have doubt. What is that? We are dividing with capital fx. We can do this only if capital fx is not equal to 0. So, what happen if capital fx is 0? We have to take both the cases. If fx capital fx not equal to 0, we can divide. If fx equals to 0, for every x, this implies 0 to x, integral 0 to x, fx dx is 0. Therefore, function fx is identically 0 function. And if fx is identically 0 function, then equation number 1 will become identity and it will be trivial question in that case. So, for capital fx equals 0, it is trivial. If not 0, we are dividing, integrating both sides. To integrate right hand side, uh, we have to add 1 and subtract 1. After integration, we are getting left hand side ln fx, ln fx right hand side, ln 1 minus x with negative sign. Modulus I am not putting because x lie between 0 to 1 and it is minus x. There is no need of constant here. We can ignore or we can choose constant 
of our choice okay because ultimately we have to take derivative of this to apply Rolle's theorem now simplify it left hand side will become ln mod fx into 1 minus x right hand side is minus x after one step we can write it as mod fx 1 minus x is equals to e power minus x which is same as mod fx 1 minus x e power x equals to 0 equals to 1 okay now we got the function where roll theorem we will apply that function is capital fx 1 minus x ex mod fx was there you can take plus fx or minus fx both will give you same answer this is the function in which we should apply roll theorem for roll theorem first condition continuity is g g is continuous in closed interval 0 to 1 is it continuous because gx is 1 minus x into ex integral 0 to x fx ft dt so 1 minus x is continuous function e power x is continuous function f is continuous function we can say yes g is continuous function second is g differentiable is g differentiable g is differentiable in 0 to 1 yes it is 1 minus x differentiable e x differentiable this section integral 0 to x ft dt f is continuous and i wrote here fundamental theorem of calculus from that it is differentiable as well it is differentiable as well so two conditions are satisfied g is continuous g is differentiable third one g is zero you can check it is zero g1 is also zero so all three postulates of Rolle's theorem are satisfied so by Rolle's theorem there exists c belongs to zero to one such that g dash c is zero there exists c okay g dash c zero now check g dash c to check g dash c first we should calculate g dash x which is equals to e x 1 minus x product rule i am applying so you can check that ft dt next one minus e x 0 to x ft dt plus e x 1 minus x fx okay this is what we have i am naming this equation as star i am naming this equation as smiley okay now g dash c0 it means in smiley we have to replace each x with c and ec is common take these two means club these two we have 1 minus x minus 1 integral 0 to c f t dt last term is 1 minus c f c is equals to 0 e c is a positive quantity we can shift it in the denominator of 0 and and take the section this section means first section okay to right hand side so we are getting 1 minus c we are getting 1 minus c f c is equals to c times 0 to c f t dt this is what we have to prove okay hope you enjoyed this video please like the video and subscribe the channel bye bye for now